squeaky chair. Let's go. Squeak as heck. I really gotta get a new chair, man. Really gotta get it. it should be uh, should be higher priority than it is, really. But you, you know, what can you what can you do, dude? There's nothing I could do, dudes. Uh, oh, we're gonna go up here. Right up here. Look at this. Check this out. Out of my way around. Um, just finished up the stream. Just finished up the stream, maybe uh, 20 minutes ago. It was good. It was good. Um, we only got one viewer in today. It was somebody who I've never seen before, so it wasn't uh, like I used my. What am? What on earth am I actually stuck on right now, though? Like, what on earth? What on earth is happening? Excuse me. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so there's a broken model there, I think. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Hold up. Let me uh, let me switch to the right game capture scene here. It'll capture it. It'll grab it. Don't worry about it. There we go. <laughs> I gotta go back there and check that out again. <laughs> Yeah, just finished up the stream. We only got one viewer today. It was somebody I've never seen before. Somebody new. Somebody who um, just found me because they found me. They were uh, they're happy to meet a new Iron Man. And they wanted to do some PVM later on. Which I am super duper into doing later on. Once uh, once I'm at the point where I'm doing PVM. And I can afford to have you know multiple people going as well. It was good. Um, I would have liked more viewers, but you know that's 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 uh, that's, that's what happens, right? Some days you get five viewers, some days you get uh, a couple of viewers. Yeah, so we get uh, we get stuck on the model there. Now that I'm aware of it, I'm able to uh, to avoid it relatively easily. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. We put on the Iron Man a bit. We got a couple quests done. Got him knocked out. Got him knocked out. I'm working on the thumbnails as well. I'm gotten. Uh, I'm getting the. Uh, speaking with uh, with uh, with with Miles here. The, uh, the thumbnail creator, and he's uh, he's doing a banging job. Got to uh, be honest with you, the KF2 thumbnails that uh, that were that he's got, I'm not like a hundred percent pleased with, but I I do like them well enough. I think that I just have to take better pictures uh, for the thumbnail backgrounds and and see if I can maybe tweak with some graphic settings or like maybe. Take the pictures in like uh, like a map viewer rather than in game. Um, so I, I feel like what's holding the, the the thumbnails with KF2 back is is the pictures that I took of the maps uh, more than anything else. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to try and, and find better ways to take pictures of them. But you know that'll come with time and a lot of time because taking all those pictures is gonna take a ton of time. But taking all those pictures is also going to um, you know, since I'm doing it anyway, it's going to make it easier for me to move over to a new uh, script for making the thumbnails anyway, so um, we'll, uh, we'll work on that. But, you know, hey, it's uh, it's coming along, the thumbnails are coming along. We've got the, uh, the Gunfire Reborn ones are done. The Death Gambit ones are done. I'm still playing music in the background. It is, mu it is YouTube safe music, but... We'll get rid of that. Um, the Death Gambit are done. The uh, yeah, the Death Gambit is done. The Gunfire Reborn is done. The Amjack Prize is coming along. He's uh, he's knocked out one, the first iteration of it. You know, it's a back and forth process. As he sends me something, and I'm like, I don't like this part. And he's like, All right, so I fixed it. And I'm like, I don't like that part. <laughs> and uh, so he fixes that. And I'm like. I really like this part, and then he kind of like capitalizes on it, and then uh, you know, kind of everybody's happy afterwards, right? Um, yeah, so we got the first uh, the first Yamcheck tries. He's not working on it anymore tonight, although that's probably a lie because I think he's having a ton of fun with it, so he'll probably work on it a bit more anyway. Uh, he's probably thinking about it if nothing else. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in no rush to get it done. The, the earlier, the better, of course. You know, I'd love I'd love to have it done overnight. I'd love to have it done. Right now, so that I could uh, I could move over to these new thumbnails and start uh, start this thing going strong. But you know, ultimately, um, I don't want to rush him. I, if, if he needs time, if he needs to take a break, if he needs to do something, then I'm fine with him doing that. Like it might take a week or two for it to be done, but that is uh, that is within reason, in my opinion, anyway. But we got the uh, couple of them done now. 
So it's going to be uh, just the M check try. And then moving on to... Uh, so it's the M check tries. And then the RuneScape thumbnails as well. Because we'll be having RuneScape videos coming up. Um, and... Because well, I'll be doing uh, like an update video once a week at the very least. Uh, not necessarily showing clips and stuff just yet, not now anyway, but uh, definitely uh, uh, like 10 minutes, you know, hey, this is what I did this week and this is uh, this is what I've accomplished and this is uh, this is what I'm kind of working towards now and uh, next week we'll come back and go over it again. So we'll have uh, thumbnails for that. And then again in the future I'll have other series and we'll need uh, series and we'll need, of course, some new thumbnails and I'll see if he wants to do it and if he doesn't then... Uh, we will work on somebody else doing it, which is also fine. I would like to have it consistent, but hey, you know, it's that's uh, fine. I'm super duper pleased with um, with the death scan and the gunfire reborn thumbnails. They look fantastic, and the the M check tries also. Oh dear God, that that Edar got me, man. Uh, I'm super super pleased with the uh, with the Death's Gambit thumbnail and the uh, the Gunfire Reborn thumbnail and the Yamjack tries thumbnail. At least that what he sent me was really really nice. Uh, the only problem I have with it is um, I mean there there are bits and pieces that could be improved on it, but uh, like thumbnails on YouTube, like you get the little thing at the bottom right, like the time the the timestamp on the video, like how long it is. Uh, that covers up the stuff in the bottom right, like not quadrant, but like the bottom right part of it anyway. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have, um, nothing in the bottom right, not, not, nothing in the bottom right that is important to see. And he has the, uh, the episode number down there. So it's like, ah, eh, I really like it. It looks great. It's just when you put it on YouTube, it's like not so great just because of, of the way that they, uh, they deal with the thumbnails. Which is uh, not an issue with uh, with his design, but with how it, YouTube handles it. Um, which is to say that it is an issue with his design. Because he should have designed it to where YouTube is okay with it. But then at the same time, it's the first, you know, thing. And uh, it looks really, really good. So I can't really, I can't really complain, you know. It's just... Uh, yeah, it's frustrating sometimes when... And he hasn't done thumbnails before, so I can't blame him for doing it, right? Like... It's fine, um, and he'll he'll fix it. So, you know, ultra fine, super duper fine. But uh, yeah, it's always uh, so it was it's been funny. So we have the KF2 logo down in the bottom right of uh, the current thumbnails, and uh, whenever I'm looking at the thumbnails on YouTube, anyway, on my website it works fine. Check out videos on my website instead, yamashack.com. All I'm saying, um, on YouTube, they uh, they cover up the KF2 logo, and I'm like, well, what's the point of having it there then? But we're coming up with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with new Yamjack Tri thumbnails that look fantastic. Um, I haven't actually asked him for a, like, Twitch VODs thumbnail, but I, w I would like to, uh, maybe see about that. Just, like, a purple border with a spot for the game name or something like that is, is utterly, is completely fine. Just to denote that it is, uh, it is Twitch. You know, it's from Twitch. So we'll have the, the Twitch VODs uh, going up in that. We'll have uh, the series on Wednesday. It's going to have its own thumbnail always. Uh, because the series on Wednesday is going... I mean, if it's a long series. If we're going to be doing it for a while, then yeah. Um, if it's going to be a short series, like if we're just doing... You know, something, then then it won't have one. But for, uh, for a series like Death's Gambit, where I'm going to be playing it for many, many, many hours. It's like three hours a week, right? Three hours a week is, is not much... <laughs> You know, like a month later and you've done like 12 hours in a game. Like I'm expecting to get 20 to 30 hours out of Death's Gambit. Which is like two or three months, right? Uh, so that's fine. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So it's just, uh, I want to go back up there, dude. They're getting the, they're, they're getting the thumbnails coming on. They're looking, they're looking really, really, really good. Super duper pleased. Which is all I can ask for. Money, money well spent. Money well spent, in my opinion. No buyer's remorse here whatsoever. I was a little bit concerned about the thumbnails because there's no drawing, but he's uh, he's pulled through, and that's what I expected him to do because, you know, that's why I asked him. But, uh, 
yeah, it's uh, it's looking great. It's looking great. I'm super duper excited to start using them and uh, start getting into YouTube and Twitch a little bit more properly. I am doing it very very properly right now, but uh, well, not really properly, but I'm doing it uh, a lot anyway. And uh, I'm excited to get into it a little bit more professionally. You know, look look a little bit more professional, a little bit uh, higher quality and. You know, going forward, we'll have to get uh, some like proper uh, hardware upgrades as well. I'd like to get some um, better microphone, better chair. Like the chair is probably my first streaming hardware upgrade, which is, you know, funny. But like, I want to be able to move around a little bit without uh, hitting stuff. I want to get a new desk, which is also going to be a streaming upgrade. New monitor, also a streaming upgrade. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff to to buy for the stream. Uh, I'm not really gonna be able to buy much of it. Um, like, uh, th there are lots of things that I could get specifically for the stream, like a microphone, a better microphone, right? I'm not getting a microphone until I'm making money on Twitch. This microphone is fine. Uh, but there are also lots of things that I personally want that would be good for streaming upgrades, like a chair. I, I want a new chair because this one annoys me, uh, and it would be good for the stream. So it's like high priority on my uh, on my buy list, you know. Um, and then uh, like a new desk. I want a new desk, so high priority. I want like a new monitor, a third monitor. Uh, high priority because it would be good for the stream, and I want it because I want my third monitor back. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, some things we'll have to wait until I'm making money on YouTube. Some things don't. Um, like yeah, like a new microphone. Uh, you know, sound dampening, echo dampening stuff. Uh, that's all like specifically for the stream and I think that my quality is fine I can get to a point where I'm making money with this and uh, if it doesn't happen I don't want to be investing a stupid amount into it you know so this is this is fine for now but uh, there are a lot of upgrades that can come that I personally want um, that I can justify because it's for the stream so and if I never make money then that's fine I don't need a better microphone anyway because this is fine for like chats and discord and whatnot anyway right it's fine for, for amateur this video production too. Um, We're almost but time. yeah, lots of uh, lots of upgrades to get. Lots of upgrades to get. It'll come with time. It'll come with time. A long time. A long time. Cause I have to also worry about moving out and get my own place, well, renting a place anyway. Excuse me. Goodness. Uh, so there's a you know a certain degree of that as well involved. Tomorrow's uh, the first Friday stream. Fridays are going to be. Uh, three hours long. Excuse me, I've got, uh, I've got some, some burping gas right now for some reason. Not sure why. Um, anyway. We'll be, uh, we'll be doing a Friday stream tomorrow. Friday's gonna be three games. One hour each. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna be playing, uh, a couple of games. I already decided what I'm playing, but I'm not sure I'm gonna tell you. If you want to check it out, then check it out. Uh, it's going to be live on Twitch tomorrow at uh, 1400 Pacific Time. That's 2 p.m. Pacific Time. If you live in America, if you come by at uh, around 2 p.m., you'll be there when I'm streaming. Uh, you might just be rather late, but, you know, if you live in the Americas, you'll, you'll make it on time. At least for the last hour. Actually, no, you wouldn't. You'd be there right when I finish streaming, <laughs> if you're living East Coast when you get there at 2. But anyway, uh, we've got uh, three games tomorrow. I know what I'm playing. I'm excited to do that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be my first variety stream, which is fun. I'm, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what kinds of uh, performance we'll get from uh, like a viewership perspective because oftentimes you build uh, the viewership by playing one game for a long time, right? Like you play RuneScape for like five hours or something like that. Somebody comes in at two hours, you have like more viewers now, and then somebody comes in like an hour later, and now you have even more viewers, and more people are gonna be like, "Hey, I'll check this person." You're rising in that list as uh, as time goes on. Um, whereas with a variety stream, you know, somebody might come in and be like, "Oh, blacksmith, that's my favorite game," you know, and then uh, you start playing some Gunfire Reborn, and they're like, "Oh, well, I don't know about that," or maybe the other way around, you know, they're like, "Oh, Gunfire Reborn, heck yeah, I'm into that," and then uh, you start playing some blacksmith, and you're like, "Well, what is this game?" and uh, you know, it's just, um... 
It's a little bit scary, it's a little bit concerning, but I'm thinking that uh, we'll be able to make it just fine. I do have uh, a couple of viewers who come by fairly consistently who would watch me play anything. Um, because they're here for, for me personally, not necessarily the game that I'm playing. But a lot of viewers do watch for the game, right? They want to see somebody who's who's good at the game. I'm sure that there are a number of you guys out there watching this channel who are uh, who are primarily interested in the KF2 um, just because it's KF2 rather than because of my commentary. My commentary doesn't probably doesn't add a whole heck of a lot for uh, for everybody, right? But uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the style I'm going for anyway. Um, so it's uh, it's gonna be fun to see it. Uh, I'm expecting to see some like sharp rises in the. Well, I, I would expect if 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 it were possible to happen, uh, what would happen is you'd have sharp spikes right at the uh, the start of. Well, you'd have sharp like drops right at the start of uh, an hour. So you change over to a new game, and uh, you've got the uh, the like in between AFK time and um, you've got. Uh, you know, you've got the uh, the AFK in between time. You've got a new game, and people are like, oh, "I don't really want to watch this one." And then, um, you know, as a result, you have uh, people leaving. And then, like maybe ten minutes into the game, uh, people see this game and they're like, "I want to check that one out." And then they join, and then it's kind of like equilibrium, is my guess. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. And I don't have enough viewers anyway, really, to uh, for it to be a huge thing. So. Gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Don't even worry. Gotta work on my voice more. It's gonna boggle people's minds when I eventually change over to uh, to my new voice. I think it is, cause uh, I think that a lot of people who uh, who watch my stream anyway don't realize that I'm trans, cause a lot of people have just come by. A um, number of people have come by just because they want to join me and watch, right? And a couple of followers from people who I've never met before. Uh, and they don't know, because I'm, I'm not like... I mean, I, I kind of do, but I don't... Uh, you know, it's... it's, uh, it's, it's I, don't, I don't care if people... You know, if somebody calls me a guy, I'm going to correct them, but... I'm not going to be like, hi there, by the way. You know, like, eh. But uh, if somebody calls me a guy, I'm going to correct them. But people don't really do that too often when you're streaming. They like they, they they address you as a, as a as a streamer, right? As a streamer or streamer or yam or whatever, right? So it doesn't happen too often. Um, so I feel like a lot of them don't know, and then uh, one day I'll be changing my voice over to something just way more feminine. It's gonna be a while, right? Like it might be a month or two months or a year or two years. I, I don't know, but it's gonna be a while. I had to get in the habit of practicing more often. It's really the the ultimate goal. But I mean, if I can, if I can handle like streaming f three hours a day and recording all these videos every day, I think I can handle a little bit of voice practice, right? Who is this Hi there. See ya. Thank you for tanking that for me. I really appreciate it. That just one shot him, really? I didn't think I could one shot them in the face with it. Maybe because I had the, the times five? I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was possible to one-shot a husk in the face. Many thought. I don't know. I want to play Factorio too, but... You know. I don't know if I want to play it. <laughs> I like... I really want to play it because like there's that new 1.0 update, but I've been holding off on it because I feel like Zisto's going to come out with a really, really cool series, and I want to watch it and experience it all for the first time that way. Because uh, I feel like that'll be the most fun way for me personally to learn about the new game, but with the new content, the new update, I haven't seen anything about it yet, other than the trailer, and I I, I, I want to wait for him to do that. But he's doing um he's doing satisfactory right now. He's finishing that up. I feel like. The problem is, you know, he, f he finishes up uh, the one series, right, which is going to be a while because he's got a lot of work left to do on that, and then he has to start the new series and get it recorded to a point where he can, like, have enough of a backlog to be able to whip out new episodes, right? So it's like, how long until we get a new ep a new series, right? Um, but I, I would imagine he would go for something quicker to, to knock out some of that uh, that earlier hype on it. I would imagine. 
uh, and then come out with the with the Mega Base series afterwards. But I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. I've been holding off on it for a while though. Regardless, um, because of uh, because I want to watch him play through it first. I don't know what like uh, it's really demotivating because he is probably one of the, like the greatest YouTubers just just in like history, uh, Zisto, and uh, he gets like so few views on his videos, and it's not like uh, you know where where people will be like, oh you deserve more views, man, you're so good, and like the reality is like they're not really. You know, like, like uh, people will often say that. People say that to me all the time too, and I'm like, I don't, I don't really deserve more views. I, I don't. I get the amount of views that I deserve for the amount of work that I'm putting, and I am, I am growing at a, uh, a, a perfectly fine, acceptable pace. There, there's nothing uh, uh, wrong with, with, uh, with what's going on here, right? I don't, I don't deserve more views. I'm not putting in uh, enough effort that, uh, that I would deserve to just have a sudden influx in views, right? Uh, with Zisto, it's just, it's like, uh, this weird phenomenon where he just doesn't get views. Okay, sure. And, uh, it's, it's like, demotivating to a certain extent, because, um... I look at, like, my future, right? <laughs> and it's like, I can't make content as good as him. I can't do that. And yet I want to make... I want to be more successful than him, and it's just like, hmm, hmm, how's that gonna work, right? How's that gonna, how's that gonna go down? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm not Zisto though, so I think uh, it's different. It's different types of content, right? I guess people just don't like that. It's bizarre because it's amazing, but what can you do? What can you do, dude? Not much. Uh, we're gonna go over this way. We'll do another run. This will be the last one, whether we live or die. Yeah, Factory is on the on the list of games to play. I have to watch him play through it first, though. That's that I've committed to it, and uh, I'm gonna follow through it. I'm not touching it until uh, until he's done. I can't. It's kind of like uh, I'm not touching Greg on RuneScape until uh, until I finish the log on stream, which is, I mean, three hours a week is you know for one drop is it's like a forty percent chance to finish it in three hours, which is pretty good, but it could be. Uh, few months before uh, before we actually get that easily it's not like any other hour is more likely to get one just because I did I went dry right a lot of people say that it's always fun watching them. and it's like in every game right yeah, any game where you're farming something you're like I've been dry for a while I'm do um, do a few drops you know they're like well it's got to even out eventually I'm like it does eventually even out that might be next year <laughs> you know like there, there's nothing that says you can't go as dry as you've already gone absolutely nothing you could go exactly as dry as you have already gone and it would be just as likely to happen as what has already happened and it's like you don't you don't you're not do anything it's just that like the drops are like you know the the, the things that you're looking for the, the the percentage chances that are happening are uh they just haven't been doing well for you, you know. Over time, it'll it'll average out. Um, but like, especially for things that are like super rare, like one in uh, ten thousand, one in like a hundred thousand or something. People are like, well, I'm like five hundred thousand in and nothing yet. I'm like five hundred thousand in and not having one is genuinely, you know, not that unlikely. It's not it's not unheard of. You could go another 500,000. You, you could do that. Um, especially in RuneScape, there was, uh, there was this one guy who was farming a, um, who was farming a pet, uh, from something, and he went, it was like one in, like, 2,000, or one in 1,000, or something like that, and, uh, you had, like, thresholds, so every, like, 1,000 or 2,000 or kills or whatever, um, you'd get, like, an added roll, an added chance to, to, to get it, so instead of, like, one in 2,000, you'd be, like, two in 2,000. Um, but he went like 70,000 kills or 40,000 kills or something something ridiculous and uh, it finally turned out that it was just a bug that was blocking him from getting hit I'm like hmm yeah so every time somebody goes dry you're like yeah I think it's just a bug I don't think 
it is. That that was a that was a pretty out there situation to have happened. You know, like until you're you're like that dry, I don't think it's really worth mentioning. Cause I don't know, it was like a one in like a trillion people would go that dry, and uh, people were like, yeah, it's probably just one of the least likely things to have ever happened in the history of ever. Um, and yet here we are. So something's wrong. <laughs> Like it, it, it's not it's it's possible to be this unlucky, but uh, you'd win a few lotteries before that happens, <laughs> right? So, wow, we ran out of ammo fast. We I guess we just didn't get much money on the last one. Yoink! Smackaroonies! Hello. Oh, that was that was satisfying, man. That one felt good to to pop him. Felt good, man. We're like completely out of ammunition, and uh... see you, dude. Try it. Just do it. Try it. I dare you. Oh, I thought you were gonna be uh, a little. A little bit uh, stunned there, but you were you were apparently not, not super stunned. That's a problem for me, or it was anyway. It's not anymore because I've, I've I've handled it. I have uh, I've handled it. Okay. Man, it's like we're like completely out of ammo. Uh, okay, we are actually completely out of ammo. We are like literally out of ammo. We literally have nothing. Think we can kill this guy with a with a knife? We're past 25 minutes. I think we can try it, right? I think we can try it. Rock and roll. What if we hear Smack. Boys? We're, we're past 25 minutes, so it's uh, it's at the point where I'm okay with ending the video anyway. So let's give it a, let's give it a go. Here, you wanna no, please. I wanna like I wanna get you to attack the the raider, okay? Attack the raider, please. Attack attack the raider. Hit the raider. Hit the hit the raider. Give me a little bit of uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah 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 yeah. Are you going to be aggroed on him? Yeah, you are. Look at that. Okay, you can shoot through that. I, uh, I totally didn't expect that. I did it! I wasn't expecting to actually make it. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick, dude. I was sick. <laughs> let's try somewhere else. I always go up to the the thing up there. Let's try uh, let's try camping somewhere else. Let's just make it interesting. All right. What's down here anyway? Oh yeah 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 yeah. We're going all the way down. Let's try camping out down here. I always go up to the top. It's too easy. It's too easy. Stay down here a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I'm not trying to die, just uh, genuinely. I think that uh, we've done like three rounds this time up at the top and getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. It's a good map though, I like this map a lot. Except for that one like uh, spot where it was like stuck. What the heck man. That first death was, uh, was brutal. Brutal. I'm tired though. I really, I'm really tired. I got another episode of KF2 to record tonight. I already have the Amajack Jack tries for tomorrow, so that's pretty good. But I got to get another KF2 done. It's tiring, man. It's really tiring. I'm, uh, I'm amazed at how tiring it is, uh, how exhausting it is. But this is the, uh, this is the only one that I have to get done right now because I have to get this uploaded in like two hours. I really got to make sure I'm doing this earlier. I, uh, I did get up in time. 
Um, but I wanted to get another KF2, or Yamjack tries done, so I wouldn't have to worry about the, uh, the stress tomorrow, and I'd replace that recording spot with, uh, or those recording spots, rather, with, um, with more KF2 episodes tomorrow, so that we can, uh, finish up and not have to record anything for the weekend. I do have to get another Yamjack tries recorded. Tomorrow's a big day for recording. What do I have to record tomorrow? So I've got, um, tomorrow's Yamjack tries done, so I have to record two Yamjack tries, at least, ideally three, so that's an hour and a half, or... An hour. I have to record uh, six episodes of KF2. It's three hours, so I got like four or five hours of uh, recording to do tomorrow, plus the three-hour stream. I mean, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. Don't get me wrong. But since I don't have to worry about uploading it and uh, setting up the thumbnail and all that, since I'll be able to do the M check tries today um, for tomorrow, I mean, uh, I think it'll be a little bit easier because I'll be able to get up, make some food immediately. And then uh, not interrupt myself after I record until I start streaming, and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it goes through. I'm also really tired, so you know maybe we're able to get through the night with uh, with a good sleep, good time, wake up at a good time, and get to recording. But it's a busy day tomorrow. It's a busy, busy day tomorrow. Super busy. So, but I don't want to work on the the weekend. If I have to, if I don't get the YouTube's recorded, if I'm not feeling it, then I I, I will put it off. And I'll record it on the weekend. Uh, I just, I really, really don't want to. I really want to get into the habit of having my weekends off. It's, uh, it's very important to me to have uh, dedicated time to, to myself. Super, super important. Back in the game. Super duper important. So, I want to make sure that I'm working on that and getting that done uh, best I can. Anyway, we're not going to go over to the rig. We're not going to go over there. We're going to stay over here. I'm going to go somewhere else again. I'm going to stay not up here. This is a horrible spot to camp. This, uh, I don't know. Maybe it isn't. You want to try it? Just, like, chill out on this bridge? Uh, stuff can probably come from there, I guess, but... I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm imagining stuff could come from there, though. I saw a husk, but I guess he's not inside yet. It's a long walk for him to get over here. So I want to make sure that I'm actually not at the wall. As best as I can be not at the wall. Don't think I didn't uh, know about you, Husk. I know about you. I can dodge your shots. Don't even try it, dude. It's only suicidal, I mean. Why would you die, right? Like, why would you die on suicidal? Well, because you're really tired. That's a good point, dude. That's a good point. I'm gonna go make some food after this, eat something, have a shower, and then uh, come back and record another KF2. I want to record. I want to record as much KF2 tonight as I can. So I'm pretty much just gonna be recording until I'm done uh, for the night. Um, but yeah, I want to get. I want to get as much done as I can because I want to. I don't know, have the, have the weekend off and six KF2 episodes in one day tomorrow. I mean, that sounds a little bit incredible to me, so I would like to avoid that if uh, if possible, which I think it is. I think we can avoid it. Think we can make this shot. Gotta make sure we don't uh, get hit by this great right behind us, too. Smack! Commentary has definitely fallen as a result of uh, my tiredness, so I'm not sure how much I'll record tonight. Because I'm tired. I'm, like, exhausted. I do have to get one more tonight, because uh, I have to record it for tomorrow morning. Um, unless I were to wake up at, like, 6 a.m., but I don't know if I want to do that. That sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, I am tired, so maybe I can go to bed early. And then get up early, you know? Um, but recording at 6 a.m., I don't know, maybe if I got up at 6 a.m., it'd be fine. But I just, I don't I don't feel comfortable leaving it for 8 a.m. in the morning. Like, 1 a.m. is already hard enough for me to... Bang on. Can we kill you? Jeez, dude. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, man? 
Yeah, I'm excited about the stream. I'm liking the streaming. It is tiring. It's going to take some time to get used to it. And I, I'm sorry for the, the lackluster commentary in this episode, especially towards the end. It's just, uh... I've been thinking all day about uh, commentary, and I just I want to take a break. But I have to get this one recorded, at least. I'm going to take a break after this, and then... Uh, Hopefully be back in the mood for some recording. The next one should be fine. This one, I, I recognize that the, the quality has definitely degraded in this episode. Um, I recognize that. Nothing I can really do about it. Uh, it'll take some time until I'm, I'm back on track and I'm uh, I'm in the, the flow of things and I've got the, the routine going and I'm able to, to take a break after streaming because uh, lately I haven't been able to do that. It's been like record and then like or stream and then straight into recording and uh, that's not a good strategy. How have you survived this long? Where are you? This is how science really works. Okay, Matriarch, you wanna you wanna do some science? This is how science really works stuff? This is how guns really work. You know what guns are made by? Science. That's right. Guns are made by science. That science you love so much, it's what's killing you right now. What, you thought that uh, you could only use science? No, I got science too. It's called gunpowder. Science made it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I think that was about the best death line she could have given at that moment. I think so. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.